students in our daily lives we come across various plants plants in hilly areas are different than those in desert areas it would be really interesting to study such different plants isn't it so students today we are going to see question and answers mcqs from the chapter plants living and surviving so let us start with the first question which is tick the correct answers and first in that list is plants growing in hilly areas have no leaves needle like leaves broad leaves so you might have seen plants from hilly areas if you have visited such place you might have observed that plant in such areas have needle like leaves so the correct answer is b needle like leaves let us see second question a cactus plant saves water by the options are not having leaves not having stem not having roots okay now if you have seen cactus plants you might have noticed that they don't have leaves so the correct option is a not having leaves let us see third question floating water plants help small water animals by giving them shade from the sun food and water water and minerals now the obvious answer for this is shade from the sun so the floating water plants how do they help the small water animals they help them by giving them shade from the sun okay let us move on to the next question the fourth question is a lotus plant has needle like leaves very thin leaves broad leaves now what is the correct op option for this lotus plant if you have seen lotus plants have broad leaves so the correct answer is c broad leaves okay now fifth question the main food that plants of the grass family give us are options are fruit and nuts wheat and rice straw and sugar cane so what is the correct op option for this the correct answer is wheat and rice from grass family this two plants give us main food okay let us move on to the next question which is match the following now here in this particular question in column a we have coconut mango pepper cactus pine mangroves whereas in column b we have plains desert hilly area coastal area marshy area hot and damp area so students we have to match column a with column b now here in this column a we have coconut coconut you might have seen most often in coastal area then mango tree it is found in plain areas then pepper it is found in hot and damp area then uh, comes cactus which is obviously in desert region pine is found in hilly areas and mangroves is found in marshy area now let us check our answers well coconut as you can see coastal area mango plains pepper hot and damp area cactus desert pine hilly area mangrove marshy marshy area so we are correct that's good let us move on to the next question write short answers here the question is name five plant of the grass family that provides us food now which are this plants from grass family that provide us food just now we saw this wheat and rice okay so so that is of course there then jowar bajra and sugar also they belong to grass family and they provide us our food then name some products of the bamboo plant well the products of bamboo plant are like brooms basket chairs mats curtains toys etc there are many products from bamboo plant then second uh, question is over now we'll see third question name any two insectivorous plants insectivorous plant means plants that eat insects that feed on insects well venus fly trap is there then pitcher plant is there sundew is there such plants are insectivorous plant because they feed on insects fourth question name a plant that has spines instead of leaves so which are those plant which has spines instead of leaves well the answer to this question is cactus cactus has spines instead of leaves which you found in desert area now let us see fifth question 
Name the family of plants which give us cereals. Well, the answer to this question is plants from the grass family give us cereals. So we ha we have to name the family of plants, and most often they belong to grass family. The cereals that we get they belong to grass family. So grass family is a correct answer. Now let us see long answers. How do breathing root helps a plant that grow in marshy area? Well, the roots of the plant that grow in marshy area do not get air. as the soil is covered with the water so the roots grow out of the soil and water to breathe in this breathing roots help a plant that grow in marshy area so the roots grow out of soil and water to breathe in this way breathing root help a plant that grow in marshy area okay so they grow out because there is a water over the soil so for breathing they have to come out of the water okay they come out of the soil and water to breathe then comes next question a lotus plant grows in water how does it adapt itself to live in water because most often you will see that uh, trees and plants are out on the land but here they are they are inside water okay so they have to grow on water so how does it do it lotus plant has following adaptations which help it to live in water Leaves of lotus plant are very wide. This allows them to float on water and absorb large amount of sunlight. I repeat, leaves of lotus plant are very wide. This allows them to float on water and absorb large amount of sunlight. Then, second point, the stem and the leaf surfaces of lotus are coated with wax, which is very difficult to weed. Okay, therefore, it keeps surfaces free from excessive water. even in water rich environment okay so this is how it has adapted itself to live in water the third question is what are the main uses of the plants of the grass family well the plant from the grass family provide food for humans and animals wheat rice jowar bajra sugar and fodder are obtained from plants of the grass family okay some plants of the grass family also used in preparing medicines okay so you can imagine how useful this plants from the grass family are so students fourth and the last question for the day is how does the venus fly trap eat insect so this is the way in which they eat it in venus fly trap the leaf is folded into two halves so when an insect sits on the leaves the two halves close and insect is trapped and this is how venus fly trap eat insects so students that was all from my side stay home stay safe and keep learning so see you during next session with the new topic until then take care bye bye